Hello, I'm David. Hi, I'm Julie. Now we're going to do a lightning review of America's Main Street by Eagle Griffin Games. This is up to five players and you can play solo. They do say you can play with 10 in teams of two. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes to play. There are two different games in here. And it's for ages six through 106. <laughs> which means uh, we just saw a report of somebody lived to 115. I guess you couldn't play. No. So what you have here is two different sides of the same sheet here. You'll pick one side to play. We're going to go over the rules for both sides. But whatever game you play, you have to play with both sides. Since this is a push your luck game, and it's a race game, because once you complete the winning conditions, the game ends immediately. It's important to know how many cubes there are. There's 25 black, 20 red, 20 yellow, 15 light blue, 15 pink, 10 green, 10 dark blue, 5 orange, and 5 purple. In this version, you're going to draw one cube at a time. And if you and you keep on keeping track here in the casino, say I draw a black cube first, then I draw it again out of the bag. Now, it will be in this bag, okay? I don't get to pick. <laughs> and I say I draw a light blue. And I could stop here, and then I place it here on Route 66 and in Missouri. Missouri. But I could have kept on going. Let's say I draw a yellow, and then I draw a black. Because the cubes match, I busted that round. So you can keep on drawing as long as any of the cubes are drawn that round that you've placed in the casino don't match. How does the game end? Well, the game ends when you have filled in all the states with one of those cubes and Route 66, and then you multiply your score. So let's say I got three black here, two red, three yellow. And you'll be taking turns. So Julie would have hers over there. And the first one to finish, oh, I didn't finish Texas. And Kansas, you didn't finish oh, Kansas, Kansas either. So that's what it looks like when the game ends. If Julie goes out first, you still add up your scores. So sometimes going out first could be a bad thing, I assume, because you can go out first, but I could have a lot of cubes on there. Mm -hmm. So the game ends when somebody fills in their board. And then you multiply it. That would be 3, 7, 11, 14, 19, 25, 30, 33, 37. I'd have 37, and Julie would add up her points, and the most points wins. Notice I did 3 times 2 here and 2 times 4 when I was adding it, and 3 times 1. So that's that side. Note, remember, you'll be drawing randomly out of the bag. Now the other side is a twist on it. You do want to match. And you'll draw three at a time. And the game ends when you fill in these cubes exactly, these uh, spots exactly. So you draw, uh, so we're going to put it in the bag here and do it real quick. Why don't you help me, honey? You draw three at a time. And then you keep on drawing three, and each draw of three has to match, at least one cube has to match the original three cubes drawn. So here I go. So those are my first three cubes. Now I, I can stop there and place them, but I want to draw again. And I busted. So now Julia would go. And I busted because those next three cubes did not match any of the other, the first three. So there you go. Now Julia can stop, but she's going to keep on going. All right, so she matched two. And let's say she really wants to push her luck. She still has to match the original three. So draw again, but she can stop there. And she did. So now these would be placed. Now, so she stops, let's yep, say. I stop. She has three in Oklahoma, one in California. One in Texas. And three in Route 66. Now, if you do draw more, so for instance, if she gets, once she fills up this Oklahoma, she draws another yellow, it just goes back in the bag. So that's how it goes. You want to match. Mm -hmm. And then it's it's just a race to complete the board. Whoever completes the board first wins. Yep. So that's how you play both version versions of America's Main Street. And the solo rules basically say, just keep track of how many rounds does it take for you to fill in the board mm -hmm. uh, until you win. And I want you all to know that I actually read these rules, and I taught David how to play this game, right? which I was very proud of. But granted, the rules are very simple. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a good thing. We'll talk about that when we get to the rules. So some games, I'll hand to Julie and say, here, you teach this, because the rule, the rule book isn't too complicated.
All right, is this a fun game? Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, it's a fun push. It's quick. Game. It's quick it's, and fun. The theme. I think it's fun. It's neat. Well, we're talking about theme. Oh, the theme. Yes. It's the cool. cubes distract from the theme of my yeah. opinion. If there were little cars, that would be so cute. Yeah. Or little trucks. They, they they needed to do different wood pieces here. Yeah. If if the cubes were, like you said, cars, mm -hmm. or gas cans or something. Oh, that would be funny. Or what are those things called? Gas that we go to fill up. What are those gas? When you go to the gas station, what are those? Gas pump. That's what I'm trying to get to. Well, whatever the case is, cars, <laughs> gas cans. Oh, someone's visiting here. The dog Hi, just Duchess. came in. You just heard the door open. She knows how to open the door. <laughs> uh, so thematically, the cubes distract from the theme. Art, the boards are fine. Mm -hmm. Again, the cubes aren't anything special. In fact, <laughs> somebody, if they had enough cubes, I mean, the game is priced where you, you probably don't want to waste your time, but you could play this game on your own if you really had the pieces already. Sure. Components. Now... For the price point, this right here, it's thin, but it's laminated. It's it's stamped. It's mm -hmm. uh, foil stamped, uh, laminated. So it's going to hold up. In fact, you could I, you could get water on this. I don't know on the edges if it was soaked in water, if it would survive. But you, the laminate here, you could drip water on it and wipe it off, and it wouldn't be bad from what I can tell. But it's at least it's not paper. Right. At least it laminated it. But the cubes are just average cubes. Yeah. Nothing special. Nothing. Oh, and the bag is average as well. It's not as bad as some other bags you've seen, but it will shed. Ah. Uh, From the very we did pull out a few strings. Strings. Yeah. Some bags are worse. True. True. So this is an average bag. It's not the worst bag. Complexity, it's easy. Super easy. You definitely can play this with a six-year-old, as oh, I say. Oh yeah. Uh, maybe even a five-year-old. Yeah. Uh, playing time, it's fast. That's what's great about it. Yeah. It's super fast. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Age appropriate audience, so their age recommendations yep. are fine. Spot the on. The design is fine for what it is for a push your luck game. Mm -hmm. Now it would have been interesting if if there's other things you can have happen mm. when you maybe trigger things or you can I don't know if you can make if it would be worth making the game more complicated. Like if you no. uh, if you draw a certain cube, something happens. Like maybe you run out of gas. Like, I don't know if you could put like hazards in there or anything like that. I like that it's simple and it's quick and fast. I like that. Right, but it's not gonna it's gonna affect our rating how often we play it. True. Because it is so simple. Yeah. If they had other things you could have happen to you, or more player interaction, because there's really not much player interaction here. There's none. It's just a race game. Yeah. But if there are things you can draw and either help or hurt your opponent oh, or, I see what you're saying. or hazards, yeah. maybe you would play it more often. Right now it's so basic that it's not going to get to the table as often. Pretty, yeah. Learning the rules is fine. Yep. Okay. And educational merit, there is addition here. This would be good, especially this side. Yeah, that's a good side. This is a side if you want to help teach basic uh, addition and mm -hmm. multiplication, you can do that. Yeah. And uh, teaching probability. That's why when you get used to the amount of cubes here, as I showed you at the very beginning, that's important to help young people understand that what's your odds of getting orange or, or purple? Should you stop because there's only five or five pur right. five orange or five purple? And that's what can make this side interesting right here. Uh, the red side, remember? I got lucky one game oh we played. Oh my gosh. I had everything filled in except three red. And I got lucky and I drew three red. It was crazy. And there was, and Julie had her four. Mm -hmm. So that's 16 out of all the cubes in there. There was only 16 red, no, it was 15 red left because I had one. Right. The odds of me drawing three. So you can discuss probability. It was great though. It was pretty cool that you did that. <laughs> yes. So let's take a look now at how. How we read it? Correct. Okay. Why is it doing that? I don't know. Okay. I'm having trouble. There we are. <laughs> so how would you rate this? Um, I guess mediocre. Mediocre? Take yeah. it or leave it? Yeah. You won't want... That means then that you won't, You don't want to own it. You'd be okay if we didn't own it, if we sold it. Yeah. Okay. I would say six for me. We'll play it in the mood. I don't mind owning this Push Your Luck game. I think that... For the price point, it's fine to our collection. Now, if we ever have to make space, right. then maybe. 
But you're basically saying that... Okay, I changed my mind. I would play this. <laughs> because it is... I, I will play it in the mood. Be, reason being is because it's quick. And I learned the rules. And I'm very proud of myself that I did that. And, you know, I, I think that if we had people over and we wanted to have, what do you call, fill, filler games? Yeah. This would be a fun, quick little filler game. But would I be like, hey, David, let's go play this game again and again and again? Probably not. Well, that's why it's in your mood. When yeah. you rate take it or leave it, that means you don't care if we have it in our collection oh, anymore. Oh, that's why I took it wrong. Okay, then no. I don't I don't believe that. I do want to keep it in our collection. Right. That's why I was doubting I got a little that. confused. That's why I was doubting that, why you said a five. Okay, well, I'm, okay. I got Especially this. Especially since our son likes to play Push Your Luck. He games. does, and we need to play this with him. Yeah. I think that would be, he'd have a good time with this one. All right, so that is America's Main Street. Yep. Please check out our other videos. We'll see you in the next video, guys. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.